All right, welcome back in. We are in Bellright. Today, we're going to talk about early game, how you can feed your people super easy all the way through winter, every winter, all the time, and never lift a single finger to do anything once you set it all up. That's the caveat. So, you can see here I have two traps. That's it. I just have two traps. Granted, I only got three people plus myself. Now, I have been eating this food as well. Uh, sometimes I don't... I've gotten to the point I just only eat berries if I absolutely have to. Uh, I want to show you how much we have going here. With exception to... By the way, I am in day 25. With exception to very, very early on when I had to set the traps myself and I had to deal with it because I did not have the trapper's camp. Since then, I've never cooked a single piece of food. They do it all themselves and look at all this food. I only have a single smoker and a single cook uh, cooker. Look how much pelts we have. I don't even grab the pelts from ra uh, rabbits any or hares, whatever they're called anymore. It, and I use a ton of these to make stuff. It's absolutely insane how this works. So the way you do this, you need a trapper's camp. So you're going to have to research a little bit. We'll come down here and find the trapper's camp. So the trapper's camp is not particularly tough to build. Uh, getting the eight logs is time consuming, but none of this is tough to build. So what they won't, I don't know how that keeps getting clicked on. What they won't do is roasted. They'll only do, do uh, sorry, the dry, they'll only do these roasted. So when your people are cooking stuff, they will use berries, they will use roasted mushroom, but they will not use smoked mushrooms. And they will use whatever else you have on that list. I go ahead and leave that on because, quite frankly, I have a lot. And where I'm on this map, which is a very good spot early on. It may not be the best town spot ever, but it's good early on because of this guy right here. And right all back here is like 200 mushrooms. There's mushrooms everywhere. It's insane. So set it up so that you can they can just do whatever they want with these it's just fine and priority set it how you want it now you can go as far as also having the foraging camp and make sure they're getting some berries i don't usually have it that high because i don't really need it to be that high but i have it at a higher priority for berries so when it's in season because we're also right back here behind us is berries everywhere just everywhere you are going to set your workbench. Now, to make this work, you have to have gotten Lubermir. He's pretty much the first quest uh, when you're in Herndeen. So, in order to be able to unlock the town to do anything, you have to get him. And he's somewhere like right here-ish. And he teaches you how to make small trap. So, on your workbench you are going to have small trap on top up not on one off and leave it at one now this can scale i don't know if it scales all the way to the end game because quite frankly i've i've never gotten that far i've uh, my buddy and i are further along in the game uh, but we're still just now about to hit tier two uh, working on getting all that straw and planks is a pain now you can see Mr. Lubomir over there is getting stuck on a trap. And I'm going to show you something about this. Uh, I was saying I don't know how well it scales to the very, very end. I don't know how they get stuck on these things. I've got lots of space all the way around it. But occasionally they will just completely get stuck. And it's really annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this for him. And I'm going to move this trap. Trap is broken. That's perfect. Let's get rid of it and find another place for it because, quite frankly, it's being a jerk. All right, put it back on my back. So let's just find somewhere not right there. How about right there? Maybe that will allow it to not be jumping all over it. They get caught on him. So you're supposed to put it where there are berry bushes. And it says the deep woods. All that really means, my understanding, is put it away from your town. If you stick it right next to your town, it's not going to catch anything. But he put over here, even when they break, you saw that one was broke, he probably has a trap in his uh, backpack. 
trying to go over there and place a new one. If you do this, you never have to feed them again. They'll they'll have all their food all the time. Well, he's got two right there. Two on that one, two on that one. They had three when they woke up. It's it's outstanding. It's a great way to do it. Uh, then scale up however many traps you need later on as you find that they're Good not this morning. Uh, feeding themselves as well or getting the traps as, as much. And, man, you're going to have pelts galore. You're never going to have a problem building anything with pelts. You're going to have a problem with feeding them. They do it all, all by themselves. Thanks for watching.